Hey gang, <clears throat> Darren Daryl Davis coming here to talk about designing a life worth smiling about. I'm laughing because I'm I'm at the airport in uh, Tucson. I'm flying to Albuquerque, and I have this. I had to find a quiet place to videotape this. I'm behind like a ticket booth or something. I'm probably waiting for security to come take me away. Anyway, I want to talk to you about losing the sense of self. Now, I was talking to. Um, a friend of mine, Joanne Mills, shout out to Joanne, and she had asked me, because I'm doing a whole bunch of seminars this week, she said, do you still get nervous? And I said, well, it's like anything else. When you have the focus on you, it's uh, very hard to be effective in what you're trying to accomplish, whether it's in your job, whether it's in a communication with somebody. So, for example, uh, forgetting about me as a speaker, let's look at a salesperson. If you're doing a sales presentation, and you're focused on you. Am I doing it right? <clears throat> um, uh, this is uncomfortable. I'm afraid. All of your attention is on self, is on you. But when you focus on the other person, when you're really committed to serving, when you're really committed to helping, and you're committed to them getting what you're trying to communicate, then the focus is on them, not you. And what happens is you lose a sense of self. The fear and the concerns go away. So when I'm on stage, the same thing. My commitment is to my audience, so the focus is totally off me onto the audience. If you're in customer service, you know, and if you're not feeling like you want to work and you're, <clears throat> you're tired, the kids are bothering you, you feel a little cranky, when you get really committed to your job and to the customer and you focus on them, you lose a sense of self. So all of the tiredness and stress of your own personal life kind of goes away. And even if you're having a one-on-one -on -one communication with somebody, when you can really focus on that other person, what they're trying to say to you, and you're being present, you're being com committed to understanding them and getting what they're trying to communicate, once again, you lose a sense of self, and you're much more effective in that conversation. So anyway, just kind of pay attention. I hope this helped you. Um, be committed to the other person. Be committed to the making a difference. Be committed to whatever task you have at hand. Um, and if you're committed to the task, committed to the other person, committed to making a difference outside of you, you lose a sense of self. And all of the worries and fear and tiredness and concerns goes away. Okay. Hope this helped you. Have a wonderful day. I got to go now because I think security is going to rest me. <laughs>